hello guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel cw graphics it's been a while that i've posted on my channel but i'm back completely to be giving you things you need to know about graphic design and photoshop and a color draw if you're new to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever i post new video so today i'm going to be showing you how to make uh uh, shopping bag mock-up on Corridor. A lot of people have been asking me how possible it is to make a uh, mock-up on Corridor, but today I'm going to show you how easy it is. More easier than Photoshop. So all you have to do is to make sure that you download a JPEG mock-up of the shopping bag, like I have one right here. So if you don't know how to download this uh, JPEG mock-up, you can check on the description of this video. I'm gonna be dropping the link to download this particular JPEG file. So all you have to do, uh, you know, bag you have to have the front side and the other side. So you pick the front side, you group it, you come right here, you drop it directly on the JPEG mockup you've downloaded. So you reduce the left hand side to be in the same point with the particular one you want to drop on it. So you go back to the downside. And make sure the bottom right side is also intact with a particular JPEG you want to use. So all you have to do from here, you come right to bitmap, you convert, you can use RGB, CMYK, anyhow you want to do it. So you click on OK. So after converting, you make sure you convert before doing the next step. So you come right to your object, you click on add perspective. So you come directly to this particular point right here, you zoom, you drag your main work to the particular point the mock-up has started from the right top. Then you come to the left button, you make sure that you drag it as well to where it begins from. You can see perfectly you've made the front view of a mock-up, of a shopping bag mock-up. So want to make the side view, how do you make the side view? You also bring the side view, you page it up, you make sure that the left hand side is intact with where this mock-up starts from. Then, uh, but right now you're just going to increase the, the size of, uh, the size of, uh, this, uh, solid only you, you increase it to this point then you can readjust your logo to come back to the middle so uh so right here if you want to make this you need to have two different you have to you have to duplicate this particular uh, this particular left hand side as you can see if you look at here this side is somehow dark and this other side is somehow light so you can see that the both you need to have double of it so you can duplicate and keep it outside. You convert the same way. You click on OK. So you can just use your perspective as well. Uh, you can come to your object. Click on perspective. Then you drag it to the first light point. As you can see. You scroll down. You make sure this is in the this is in the light point as well. So you you drag it and make sure it's in the light point. So we want to make the other side too as well. You also bring this. You convert it. You click on OK. So you make sure you come and start from the perspective uh, from this point as well. You click on your object. Click on Add Perspective. Then you can reduce it up to this level. You make sure it's perfect. You come right here. You make this. You also make this. Yeah. You make this. And you pitch this up. You can use your perspective to cover up this logo. Okay. Um, 
so you can just make this darker you can make it darker by clicking on control uh, you press your control b button then you make it darker like this so you can see uh, you've made you make sure that this logo is not showing this other logo is showing right here you just try to cover up just cover up as you can do that so so the the, uh, the last thing you have to do right here is to create your rope so you just come right to your free hand tool click on it then you drag this way you can make it as thick as one or you can make it as thick as two then you duplicate it then you come right to your box you try to create a box and you make it this way you make it in line with the mock-up you hold your shift button click on the duplicated uh, rope then you what you click on train so after that you can see we've uh, successfully made our mock-up for a uh, shopping bag so you can do this on color draw you can do this on photoshop if you check my other videos i'm going to be showing you how to do this too on photoshop so don't forget to like share comment click on subscribe button and click on the notification bell thank you for watching